This is a Zenith 25MC36 chassis combination unit, color combination unit. And ever since I acquired this set, it's had a kind of an intermittent on-off problem where it loses high voltage. And I've tracked it down to the high voltage rectifier not getting any filament voltage, or at least that's what I believe it to be. Well, you can see I've kind of pulled this apart. Here's the cup, the insulating cup that this thing goes in, and here's the high voltage rectifier socket. And I'm going to do something here that's probably on the risky side. I'm going to show the high voltage here. And sometimes on these old sets, you just have to play it safe, but do things kind of on the risky side to get a diagnosis. Remember, they're tubes, so you really can't fry them, but you look in there, I'm going to turn the light off here. And as the high voltage comes up, you'll see that there's plenty of high voltage. And I can actually, I'm two feet from this, and I can actually feel wind from that. And that's just arcing into the air. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a test lamp onto these two blue wires here. Those go down and there's two turns of that high voltage wire around the flyback. Now there's no high voltage on any anything here. There's no voltage on anything here except there should be about three volts on those two blue leads to heat the filament for the of the high voltage rectifier. So let me hook my test light up. Alright, what I've done here is I've clipped two clip leads onto the filament supply and have a six volt bulb here it's either a six or actually I believe it's a 12 volt bulb so I'm going to power this up and I just want to verify that there's voltage getting to this point and I I'm, don't understand why there wouldn't be because the wire measures good that's wrapped around the so there it comes I do have some voltage there as the high voltage comes up you can kind of see the corona lightning effect going on so now to see maybe the tube socket's bad and there's and open in the tube socket and the filament voltage is not getting applied to the tube. Just for a verification test, I'm going to test this with the actual load of the tube filament. So I put the high voltage rectifier tube back in there. The cap is not hooked up and I want to make sure that I keep this high voltage lead as far away from me and everything as possible. I don't really care if it pops off and arcs to ground, but I don't want to. I don't want to get shocked or my meter destroyed. So I have a high voltage rectifier tube hooked up, and I have my meter on AC, and I have my light, and I want to verify.
that I uh, see what measure the actual voltage I'm getting and my main thing is to play it safe and stay away from that That's interesting. With the actual load of the tube, uh, the thing is arcing in here, or not arcing, but Corona. I have, I only have 200 millivolts. Ooh, there it arced. Uh, I only have 200 millivolts coming out of this, and I'm not quite sure why that would be. Because if my high voltage is this high, I would suspect my filament lead would, filament voltage should follow. It should track with the high voltage, and it sure appears that I have plenty of high voltage here with this wind I'm getting out of this thing. I pulled the tube out, and... Um, the meter is still only showing 0.3 volts, and I need to see 3 volts here, or 2.7, or somewhere in there. And then see how dim the light bulb is here. So I'm a bit baffled as to why I have such high voltage here. I mean, this thing is arcing 4 inches almost, and glowing blue. And I don't have enough high voltage here. Now this flyback doesn't look really good. You can see there's there's some cracks in it. And it's got quite a few hours on it. But these Zenith flybacks are extremely robust. I, I can't remember replacing one of these. It's not like RCA where they arc out and go bad all the time. So I'm really hesitant to say the flyback is bad, especially with the high voltage being so high, or appearing to be high. I have no way to measure that AC voltage coming out of there, but you would think that if that was 30 kilovolts, and this was 3 volts, that that would have to drop to 10 kilovolts to be 1 volt or 300 volts to be 0.3 or something like that and it just doesn't appear that way so something's something's got me real baffled here I need to check into this a little deeper I just kind of want to display how high this appears to be That spark is three inches, and I can only get about um, 300 millivolts on the filament, and that's an interesting odor. Uh, this was obviously a smoker set, and it's smoking again. Taking a look down in here with the mirror. I know you can't really see this at the video camera, um, but the blue blue filament wire looks kind of burned up or melted or like it arced or coated with too much cigarette crust or something. I also see some wax down here, which is not a good sign, but the flyback still does appear to be producing good high voltage. This is going to end up being part one of a two-part video. I'm not going to be able to fix this today because the next step is to pull the chassis out and uh, do a visual inspection and clean all the cigarette juice off all this stuff. Also, I will order up a few feet of this blue wire. This blue wire is is uh, actually high voltage wire. It requires the same 
wire that goes to the actual anode of the picture tube because the 25 kilovolts does run through that wire as part of the rectification process so that has to be uh, 40 kilovolt rated wire you just can't use e even though it's only a 3 volt filament winding it still has to be 40 kilovolt rated wire so I'm going to order that before I even go any further on this. This set might end up needing a new flyback but I hope not. I like to keep the original parts and it might be kind of difficult to find this. So this is going to be part one of a part two video. It'll be two or three weeks before I can get back to this set. I'm going to go order up some wire right now.